Hey guys, what is up? It is Ishi Fishy here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make thumbnails for free. Now, this website I'm using right now is called Snappa.com, and if you can't afford Photoshop because it's obviously expensive, um, you can use this website. It's completely free, and you can make some pretty nice professional-looking thumbnails with this website. And they don't just have, you know, YouTube thumbnails. They have Facebook link, Twitter posts, you know, Instagram posts, YouTube channel art, which can come in handy, uh, Twitter, Google cover, like etc a bunch of stuff like that and basically to create a youtube thumbnail i mean oh yeah first you have to create an account obviously and then over here yeah you click on youtube thumbnail now basically they have a bunch of templates some you have to pay for but these ones are uh, for free but what i prefer doing is just doing it from scratch so that's what i'm gonna do now basically what I do first is I just pick out a background. Usually I go in the patterns because they just have nice patterns in here that fit the theme of my thumbnails. So for example, let's say I wanted to pick this and then yeah, you basically pick it, uh, go on effects, you can darken it, you can blur it a little bit, you know, saturation, stuff like that. Um, you can also do graphics and they basically have a lot of graphics in here like they have the Snapchat, they have uh, just a lot of logos and graphics whatever and shapes you can pick shapes too and most important they have text because you got to put text in your thumbnail so let's say I wanted to name this video obviously how to create thumbnails for free so let's put that in the thumbnail and I'm really bad at typing sorry so I got my title here but to add you know a better looking font than this because this looks kind of plain Go over here, they have a bunch of fonts which you can use. I think this one right here looks pretty good. And then letter spacing, you could do that there. Line hiding, I think this is good for now. Uh, blur, you can do that too. Um, offset is one of the things which I use for all my thumbnails because it just adds a nice, I guess, texture to the text. So we can just put an offset there. And it kind of looks weird because they're both the same color, but what you can do is you can change the color of the offset. So let's say I wanted to make the background shadow like yellow or something. You could just do that. Um, maybe enhance that a little bit. There we go. Change the uh, title color. Uh, something more better looking than that. Okay, so I finally got my text and everything made here. So let's say I wanted to add you know a computer or something I can just add that right over here sorry my keyboard's being weird so computer and then this one looks nice so let's pick this one right here maybe tilt it a little bit ah oh, shoot yeah maybe make it a little bit shorter or yeah we could just do it like that I guess we move the text over here and then that looks good so obviously it looks the computer looks kind of plain just there with nothing on the screen so if I wanted to add something else I could just go here and let's say I wanted to add you know a free on there there we go I just I got free on there and there we go that looks good all right so let's say I wanted to add you know an emoji or something in there you go on upload an image you know pick the um, image that you want in your documents Basically, it'll show up over here and you click on it, crop it or size it to whichever size you want. And then, I'll, let's just make it a little bit smaller than that. And let's, oh shoot, let's just place it over here, tilt it a little bit. And then let's just add another one down here because there's a lot of dead space down there. So, once again, we size it and then... There we just gonna make it the opposite. There we go. I think that looks good enough for now. Yeah, that looks good. So basically, that's how you make thumbnails on Snap.io for free. And basically, this thumbnail might not look, you know, the best to you. But once again, I'm just doing this as an example. But for a website that's free, you can do a lot of stuff with it. And if you actually just take the time, you know, a few minutes or something to actually make a thumbnail, it can turn out pretty good with this website. 
um, once again, yeah, they have a lot of options, but yeah, if this video helped you, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.